Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm starting out with a bit of a dilemma actually, and that is, I don't like asking for help. So what that leaves me with is a desk that's too big to move on my own, and a bit of a problem because it's got to go. This desk was left here by the former owner of this house, so this has been sitting in this house for three years, literally untouched, just collecting dust. Look at this dust. Let's see if I can disassemble it so it's light enough for potentially me and my wife, maybe a kid, to help get it down the steps. See, we're upstairs, so we have to go down steps. Let's see what we can do. So this thing's actually pretty heavy. It's not, uh, it's not solid wood, it's like uh, pressed wood, but I think it's older, so it is higher quality than like the pressed wood today. Uh, it's still pretty heavy, so let's see if I can take this top down first, and then that'll get rid of a lot of weight. I could definitely haul that out. Alright, that's uh, 25 pounds, that's 5 pounds, another 5 pounds. The weird thing is, is I don't see any screws attaching the top to the bottom and yet it won't come off. Alright, well I don't really know how to get this desk apart, but I know someone who does. Oh Handyman Dale, I need you. Here I am. This thing, let's get started. Yeah, I've seen these before. Desk Organizer 4000. This was a good unit back in the day. Yep, sure was. Now what you're gonna need to be ultra effective, ordinary claw hammer. Now as long as you're not saving it, this is an easy job. You really just wanna find out what's securing that. Give it a good whack. We got one more, ordinary claw hammer. There it is. This will make it easier to haul down the steps. Whoa. Top down. Let's keep moving on. Now on the Desk Organizer 4000, they stepped up the quality of the top plate. We're not just going to be able to claw hammer our way through it. So I'd like to introduce you, my friend called the Sawzall. That's right, Sawzall, get it done. We're going to make this lighter. Let's trim the fat. Most of the weight's from the drawer area. We really want to section that off. There's still one more part down below. Voila! Next thing you want to do, you want to get this sawdust up. You don't want it to get embedded in the fibers of the carpet down below. Get your vacuum cleaner shot back. It's important to get it up fast so it don't get in that carpet. Your client won't be very happy. If you leave sawdust that buried deep in their carpet, they're not gonna like that. You wanna do a professional job and keep it professional. Now that the hard work's done, let's get that normal Dale back. Oh, hey, I'm back. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I can carry them. I can carry them no problem. All right, definitely making progress up here. I have to run out and uh, pick something up. Come along. So one of my suits are done. We're gonna pick it up. That was fast. All the hard work's done. All right, it's in this bag. I got me a suit, I'm an official owner in hand suit. Hey Dale, there's a GameStop right there, you wanna run down? Yeah, the kids are gonna pop in, see if they got anything new we can't live without. Dun -da -da. Dun -da -da -da. What are we playing here? Some sort of Yoshi game? Oh, it's a mug. Don't drop it. So I was hoping they had like a new uh, Lego superhero game. But they don't, I guess it comes out in a couple months or something, but uh, it was a no-go on that. All right, so we got the suit. Now uh, we're gonna try to pick something up. We're not normally out without Jess, so we're gonna try to pick something up for her for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Too slow. I win. Oh, because you made it to the door first? Yeah. Do you think they have a skeleton in here? Nice to meet you. I see you got a friend. Mr. Death. The name's Mr. Bones. Ron, Ron. All right, guys, that was easy. Almost too easy, actually. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise and show you. We already got what we need. Now, we're gonna go pick up some of them traditional Valentine's Day's cards, like kids have, not, not like fancy Hallmark cards. Look, right there in the front. That's what we need. She likes the dove. Let's get those. They have tons more. Look at this one, larger than life. <laughs> Here they are. My little pony, huh? Not that. Yeah, we are. He does not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's either that or Finding Nemo. 
This, I thought this would be funny. Dale don't think it'll be funny, but I think it will be funny. It will be funny. All right, well, it's going really well. We got the, we got the cheesy My Little Pony uh, Valentine's card, which Dale doesn't think is gonna be funny. We got the sweethearts, uh, the thing of chocolates, and I'll show you what else we got when we get home. All right, we're just making it home. We're gonna uh, sign one of these Valentine's Day cards. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh Boom! Oh my gosh! Oh, these are one of my favorites! Cutie Crane. Happy Valentine's Day from Conrad. That's from a nice card. Oh, look at that one! Pony Pals. For Pony Pals! <laughs> Dale was totally against the My Little Pony cards. Oh. Look at this. Ralph Lauren. <laughs> These are Ralph Lauren roses. Yeah, they are. I've never even heard of that. I haven't yeah, either. You get Ralph Lauren roses. Um, it was just what the dollar store had. Uh huh. They're amazing, though. Wow, what a pretty color. So, the story behind the Ralph Lauren flowers was is that if you spent enough money, they gave you a dozen roses free. Wow, and they're really pretty too. Here's the main event. Go ahead and open it up. Oh is... my goodness, look at that bow! Wow, that is fancy! Oh my goodness! Yeah, we probably smelled 50 different types of perfume oh, and this stuff smelled good. <laughs> oh, I was getting these looks like, Cupid. dang, that guy loves that girl. <laughs> Just so you know, that's the second most expensive perfume in the store. Well, I'm not bragging. Well, all the other perfume you've bought me has been expensive. Man, them roses look good in the vase. They look good in the vase. You know the table doesn't look as romantic with Nerf darts on it. Sting, I know it looks like a paper plate, but it's not. It's hard plastic that looks like a paper plate. This is considered my fancy china. And then sometimes I go to throw it away and I'm like, oh wait, this is a plastic plate. So we got some beautiful chicken, mm -hmm. sweet potato, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. They sound better when you say broasted Brussels sprouts. I think it's roasted, but. Roasted. We're warping past some hot tub action. After dinner, we were all just so tired, we hung out in the hot tub. Casper has partnered up with us and uh, they sent us a little gift. Check this out. Brand new. Casper mattress. That's right, they sent me a king size mattress. This thing was designed, developed, and assembled in the United States, which is huge with me. That's great, that's awesome. And it has over 20,000 reviews of 4.8 stars or higher on Amazon, Google, and Casper. So let's open this thing and uh, see what we got. I'm excited. Casper, here we come. Come forth. That's amazing. This thing's packed tight. Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh, oh, I hear it doing something. I hear it. It's, it's, it's like sucking in air. It's wow. getting air. Wow! See if I can get it to whistle. <laughs> Jeez! Wow! Look how fast! All right, I know it's not on the bed or anything, but let's test it out. Can I try it? Yeah, let's try it out. Ooh. <sighs> it's really nice. It actually, it's really nice. Wow! All right, let's get this on the bed. That is that is very comfortable. I don't want to get up. You don't. You look like you don't want to get up. The Casper is an over-the-top engineered mattress. It combines supportive memory foams to create an award-winning sleep surface with just the right amount of sink and just the right amount of bounce. With free shipping and returns to the U.S. and Canada, you can try Casper for a hundred nights risk-free in your home. If you don't love it, they'll pick it up and refund everything. It's already a fair price but you can save $50 towards a mattress purchase by going to casper.com forward slash Dale and use my coupon code Dale. Again, that's casper.com forward slash Dale. The link's in the description. Click the link, check it out. Terms and conditions apply. Now let's test this mattress hotel style. Oh. Yep, it's nice. All right, seriously though, thanks Casper. We're gonna put this mattress to good use. Thanks Dad, for the mattress. can we play the vibe? Yeah. Uh, actually, no, it's still not working. Let me show you. Here, come here, I'll show you what's wrong. Excuse my desk, it's a total disaster. My Vive computer and my editing computer, totally, it, I couldn't use it. Yeah, I just got Windows reinstalled. We're gonna put Steam back on it so we can play the Vive and get it set up. It should probably only take about four hours. <laughs> it was actually a first 
reformatting a solid state drive, I had to put it in an old computer that I had, download the DOS boot tools. So now something that I did find out, which is cool, is this computer has built-in overclocking. So if I launch into the BIOS, it's like one button extreme overclocking. So I'm gonna try that and see how fast render times I can get. All right, this is basically a brand new computer. There is not a single thing on it. It'd help if I had the was pushing the right keyboard. That's it, it's fresh. It's literally better than brand new because the hard drive's not all weird partitioned. I've got some helpers to whip this computer into shape. Conrad, take that keyboard off the desk. Set it on the floor carefully, gently. It's an expensive keyboard. Dale, take that mouse. Take it off the desk. Yes. Set it on the floor gently. Yes. Get ready to install the Vive. All right, we got Steam and Vive downloading. While Steam and everything installs, Conrad's got another magic trick to show you. This one's incredible. Uh, if you can find this one online, pick it up. It's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Conrad, take it away. All right. I want you to make sure to inspect this. Okay, we have a simple nut and bolt. It's heavy, so it looks legit. Plain nut and bolt. Nothing weird. Okay, it's just a nut and bolt. Okay, I'm gonna do a really cool magic trick. Put out your hand. Okay. Abracadabra. Wait, what? What's going on? Whoa. And the nut came off. How do you do that? Magicians never tell their secrets. Oh, good performance. Bam. Guys, there is absolutely no button on this thing. It's solid metal. This is a really cool magic trick. I really like this one. All right, looks like the uh, Vive is installed. Next, 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 next. I've already done all this. All right, we're getting close. Conrad's in the demo. I believe that's everything. What do we got going on? Oh, he's just finishing it. You're free to stay here and play with the controllers for as long as you like. Whoa. So all the games are not on here. They have to be reinstalled. My computer, my Steam library is 182 gig. That's going to take a long time to download, and it's certainly not going to happen instantly. I'm just going to start firing away here and uh, installing a few of the good games. Yes, I want to permanently delete. Jeez. How long is this going to take? That hard drive's definitely gonna need to defrag after ditching 5% of its total space. E-training simulator! Everything is unlocked. Oh, that's cool. So Steam, Steam files must be like in the cloud somewhere or something because all our guns are still unlocked. All right guys, well that's all I got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.